night takes. Okay. And the idea is maybe, okay, let's get the bishop out. Okay, so why bishop g4? So we're gonna go over a couple of games. Uh, I don't really follow basketball, so I wouldn't know. Okay, so bishop g4. This guy's a, and this guy's not bad. This what is his rating? It, this guy's rating is. Oops, wait. So sorry. Uh. This guy's rating twenty four hundred. So the guy I'm studying, uh, it's actually chest weeb. And he has, at least in my database, out of the one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine games, he has no seven wins and two draws as black. I've been speeding down the lane and I just cut off the brakes. Running with the bond chain, I've been married to the game. Man, I'm pumped in my veins, breaking back so I can bang. Nah. Shout out to the borough. This is like, uh, I'm already I want to play one of this. Play this again. Are you going to do make? Are you going to make uh, another pawn structure lesson? Probably, but I do want to do this because I find this like really informative, like how top level people play and why. Okay, so. Reactivate the bishop and if knight three, then bishop g6. And then this bishop is bad, right? Oh, but this bishop is gonna be good, right? So if we can trade off bishops, I'm great. Okay, get the king. Wow, okay, it's very, very strong idea. Wait, let's go back. So why G3? Okay, yeah. F4, move it out. Okay, beautiful. Now this bishop is still bad. Um, I would take that, yeah, and then put the knight on C4. It's like a beautiful square for the knight. Yeah, easy, easy. I think black is just better here. Why? Why, 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 why? I... Is the idea that he wants to protect this knight with the king and then... Alright. Okay, he resigned. You like the dark look? Thank you, thank you. Today's going to be kind of a short stream. Um, I was thinking about doing a longer stream, but I'm a little bit under the weather today. Yeah, and no, I'm under the weather. I'm sick, unfortunately. Okay, so let's go over another game. With this crazy summer weather, I can't blame you. Yeah, it's it's crazy out here. I gotta turn on this uh, air conditioner, guys.
I'm sure it's not as noisy as your neighbor. Yeah, yeah, definitely. I might, I might start a, like a a moving out fund or like maybe a down payment on a new uh, house fund. <laughs> that that might that might help. Maybe like a two year plan, getting getting out of uh, the noisy neighbors. Okay. So when did you know that I touched this girl? Sounds good. Condo fund, yeah, exactly. We should do that. All right, so let's go. Let's go through another game. Uh, let's go through the second game. Uh. Copy this notation. Copy. Give me the same one. Help the neighbors move? No, I'm gonna help help me move. Hey, Mr. Musicality, how are you? Our music, Mr. Musicality has uh, some nice beats. Go over to SoundCloud. It's uh, SoundCloud.com/slash/musicalitycv. Mr. Musicality CV. Pretty, it was pretty, pretty dope stuff. Okay, so let me let me try to actually find this game because. There we go, okay. Ah, uh, I see the site do, okay. Now I'll copy the game and now I can paste it, beautiful. So just studying the C3 Sicilia because you guys know I might be going to the World Open if we can hit our, you know, the goal. So, just trying to uh, prepare as much as possible right now. Okay. C3 first, and let's just uh, see this game. So yeah, I'm gonna be playing this. I'm gonna be playing the Knight of Six, E5, Knight, D5, D4, C captures D4, um, and see what see what we go into from here. C takes, and then just, okay, and D6, that's what he played. Ah, uh, yeah. Bishop C4, and then he played last time, Knight B5, but let's see what he plays here. He took for, oh yeah, take, take, and then Knight B5. And then if he takes, Queen takes, uh, Knight takes, Okay, so queen to b3, e6. Ooh, okay, okay. This is a little bit spicy. Okay. Just wanted to trade off queens. Ooh, okay, okay. And the knight wants to go to one of these two squares. Maybe this knight here. And the knight's really well maybe you can try to use a square so maybe we do have this but we have to be careful about a g4 right so what do, what do we what do we play they play knight e4 right here maybe my other knight comes here right because now my bishop protects it i agree these beats are dope Oh, these beats right here. Um, these are just um, some lo-fi beats on uh, on Spotify. You know, sometimes when you know, like I like to chill, I just listen to some lo-fi. You know, nothing too crazy. Um, yeah, I'll go. I'll go ahead and share this guy, this with you. There you go. 
I have a rookie, J Mac. I forgot to say hi to the people here. Hey, normally I do, but again, under the weather. So, oh, first of all, Looney Heads for subscribing. Thank you so much. Um, J Mac, welcome, welcome. Looney Head, one more time. What's up, my brother? Uh, Catman, no cap. What's up, Mr. Musicality CP? Welcome. The Duke of Prunes is here with a torch uh, support. Evil rookie, Sensei. Stop, I will ban you. All right, so let's continue with the game. A3 kicking the knight out, that knight to d5, knight e4. And so here was what I was worrying about, but maybe just let knight here attacking the pawn here this is such a very is a very interesting position it's you know bishop e7 maybe no do we have this as well is that an option f6 wow d5 double up And it looks like black's a little bit better here. Yeah, the knight placement's nice too. So the deciding factor is actually that these pawns were extremely strong. I think that's what I saw last time too. And the knights can't get in because of a6 and e6, so... And then this is just a small tactic. And the reason he doesn't take this is because f3 wins a piece. Okay, so take. Take. Okay, and now he is just up three, uh, two pawns. Fair enough. taking pawns yeah nice we have two extra pawns you can have everything and we'll exchange and the, we'll just be two pawns up this is beautiful yeah very simple win. very nice one glad the week is done happy, happy to see my favorite cookie in the house <laughs> Yeah, her name is now Evil Cookie. Okay, so next, let's go over the next game. So let's go back into the base. Let's go back into the base. I'm gonna try to like keep it a little bit higher quality. He has two games with people under 2000 and he's just a better player, right? So I'm just gonna, you know, when, mm -hmm. yeah. So let's go ahead and copy this game and we'll put it right over. For you, and let's see what I no more to, to my controller controller c5 and then night takes night takes okay so this is great this is something different so in this case you play e6 if night takes immediately and black seems to be doing just fine in this line as well. So what happens if 
if black doesn't cast so let's say black takes takes and is white flying what are the ideas here uh so if castles bishop e7 seems like one of the best recommendations or bishop d6 so he plays knight c3 bishop e7 I'm, I'm just gonna say bishop d6 is also good why after knight c3 why is bishop e7 not a good move it's a good move it's another good move yeah just seems like black you develop without really having to do much bishop e7 bishop d6 interchangeable interchangeable moves and um we've i oh i see why because we've isolated their pawn right it's an isolated queen pawn our knight is already blockading it and we can attack it very easily in the future so that's why and i guess play has to revolve around you know this pawn so that's why it's even i see okay so that's fair enough okay so let's go back into the game so like actually five e6 in that case so no d6 in that line so castle bishop e7 bishop e5 bishop d7 takes 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 okay and then we're better because this is an isolated pawn and we're gonna play bishop f6 right he doesn't want to trade any of the defenders yeah makes sense Beta. okay Seems like a very strong move. I would play knight c5, yeah, knight c5, and then after that, threatening checkmate. <laughs> oh, that knight's so good there. So he doesn't want to trade pieces. Okay, very nice. Yeah, that, that's GG. Good game. You guys are so nice, you see? You spread positivity a little bit. It goes a long way. And I love that everybody in the chat is being super positive tonight. Really appreciate it. You know, I know that you guys come out of uh, work and life very frustrated. Um, but hopefully the stream, you know, can put you into a mi positive mindset for, you know, tonight. And hopefully tomorrow morning. That's, uh, that's one of the goals here. And uh, the other goal is to get money just kidding just kidding <laughs> and i little humor as well you gotta go that's why you come here every day <laughs> it hurts to laugh thank you thank you well i'm not leaving just yet i'm still studying so do you guys want to study with me you know ask questions about these positions because these are really, really nice games, and I'm like studying one particular line. Uh, 
Actually, maybe it's worth seeing what they played. Cookies are gonna change the world. They just might. They just might. All right, let's. This person's in 1800. Takes d6, bishop c4. So we take here. Take. And then we play. So it's take, take. And we play. Then we play knight d4. And if. Oh, and then we play e6 here. And if castles, uh, we play bish. No, we play knight a5. Yeah. Bishop check, bishop d7. Queen, and then we can uh, just take queen, and then we can knight the other knight back. Yeah. Bishop e7. Oh, right, right. We want to trade queens. That's one of the points. Take, take. So, wait, what do you do about this? Knight a6, maybe? Oh, you just play the rook over, okay. Takes, takes. G5, and now this bishop is hitting a brick. Attacking the pawn as well, okay, so. Not really hanging a pawn, but um. I think, yeah, maybe work over. Now we can take the pawn, very nice. So also he couldn't take here, right? So now we can like counter pin him. So that's very nice. So he was able to just win. All right, was that the best move there? Yeah, rook da is the best move. Bishop f6 again, and then just, yeah, right. How do we com combat this? Rook c8. Yeah, just stop the piece from coming in. And then place, place the bishop on d6, maybe? Oh, okay, that's a very, very nice way. We have one more pawn in the center as well, so like this is huge for us. Tricky Knights. Hey, JT. Yeah. Whose cookie do I have to crumble to play you in a rapid game? Um, I'm not sure. Whose cookie do you want to crumble? Why doesn't Black want to castle? Well, in this position, it's actually quite unique. Um, Castling might not be the best line, and I, this is what I'm discovering. So I, re I really want to know like the position in and out. So I'm gonna be playing. I want to play more of these because I'm pretty sure at the under 2000 section, people are gonna play some C3 Sicilians, people are gonna play some Grand Prix, and I play Sicilian. So I just want to be extra prepared. You know, they're not gonna play the best moves, right? So they're gonna play some offbeat moves. But I just want to be as prepared as possible for this tournament. If I go, if I if I can go, actually, so we have an extra pawn here. Like I would, even, I would play like here, like bishop. After that, like bishop somewhere in the exchange, or e5, e4. So why doesn't Black want a castle? Um, maybe it's just better to have the king in the center. You can connect rooks either way. Like you don't have to castle, and especially like you're exposing your king side. Like you're playing h6 sometimes and g5, so you wouldn't castle. There's no reason to. Okay, so let's just keep going. Let's just keep going. Uh, we're gonna go over the 1900 now. Oh, this is a very short game.
Oh, this is supposed to be bad. I think the main line is E5. I've read this in some book. It might be Jeremy Summon's book. But the reason that a lot of uh, top chess players stop playing this line is because you get to play E5. Okay, let's see. But he wants to play like kind of like a Grand Prix, like a McDonald's attack, if you will. Okay, so C4 trying to shut the center. Yeah, this guy. What what is he doing? We're gonna take. What, you don't take his bishop. Oh, I mean, I guess you don't have to right now. And he resigned because after queen b3, it lights out. Bam! Because he can't hold the bishop. So that's a short one. We playing chess in the dark? You already know. After hours. Hey, Oxford, how are you? Are you better? I knew that you were sick. Now, now I'm a little bit sick. So I think you passed it on to me. I blame you. <laughs> kind of hurts to laugh, actually. So today's gonna be a short stream, but um, I'm also studying. Um, so I want to give you some insight into how I study, um, and in th in particular, I'm gonna go over some opening play for myself. This is what I'm gonna be looking forward to to play. This is what I'm looking to play during the World Open. So if anybody is going to the under two thousand section, leave now. Of course, I'm going to be doing stuff in private where I, I'm not going to show you, but I think this is just some basic stuff. So, okay, so right, very, very nice. So let's let's look up the other game. All right, so we we'll, let's look at a twenty-two hundred. Oxford, te mejoraste o no? Sí o sí. I think Oxford also comp composes music. So we have a, a lot of talented people. We have artists and we have musicians in the house. You know, I just play chess. Just nobody. <laughs> All right, so let's go ahead and copy that game. And let's go ahead and paste it. That said, if you do want to study on your own time, go here. In the dark, chill music, cool jacket, gotta coach you up. You already know what it is. You're still sick? Ah, oh, I'm sorry, Oxford. All right, so let's go ahead and keep studying. So for those of you who don't know, we're studying the C3 Sicilian. Wait, why, why is it giving me this? I think we went over this game already. But anyways, always take it. Bishop c4, we take, take here. Queen takes, knight takes here. Um, just a6 prevents any knight shenanigans. This light's supposed to be considered for bad for black. We're gonna play e6 here, right? E6, yeah. So now we're basically playing guess the move. Um, and this is really, really strong. Um, actually, we're gonna put this knight back, right? Yeah, knight back. Knight back is, uh, and hopefully we can take because we're also hitting this pawn. And this is en prix, which is free, front, or not guarded. En prix. I don't know how to even say that. Takes and then take back with the knight. We're looking to play stuff, maybe like develop bishop c5. Yeah, b5. I think we saw this game already. Yeah. All right, so we can skip this. Yeah. This one's a nice one where he brings his king all the way over. 
And then here, uh, he finds a rook d5, rook here, rook, the other rook to d8, takes, takes, and then he plays rook to c8, he moves the king. Um, and after that, after he moves the king, I think he moves the king as well. And after he moves the king, we can now take the pawn. And then f4, knight to g6, and he can't take on g6 because I take on f4 with a check. So he plays g3. Six and then e5, take, take, and then I take, and then I t4 check, and then just a very very easy conversion from here. And then king over, and king over, and it takes, and he resigns, and we have two pass pawns. Okay, so yeah, we saw that already. We saw that one. So we saw that one already. So let's go over. I haven't seen that one yet. Okay, so let's see what happens. Copy. Let's see what happens here. And so we're just gonna like copy and paste his games and just keep keep going through the positions and try to make sure that I understand the openings and why he's doing the moves that he does. Take knight out and then d6 here. Bishop back and then knight bd4. No, you always take, take, and then you play knight d to b4, queen b3 e6, castles, knight a5. Okay, we haven't seen queen c3 yet. So what happens on queen c3? What, okay, so what do we need to do? What do we want to do? I feel like just bishop b7 uh, and then queen c7 maybe. Okay, we're gonna take bishop d7. Okay, fair enough. Because rook c8 is a threat. Take, take, queen c. So we've seen in a lot of the games that you wanna trade off the queen very, very quickly. You're gonna survive? Okay, I believe in you. Survive, my brother, survive. Yeah, for me, it's just a really bad headache. Like, my sinuses are kind of, like, acting up. And I just feel, like, extremely sore as well. That's what happens when I get sick. I just get really, really sore. Sometimes it gets so bad that I can't move out of my bed. Like, it, it, I just can't move. Like, it happened to me last year, and honestly, I thought I was going to die. I was like, I, I see how people can die from the flu. I, at first I'm like, oh, these are just weak people who can't survive a flu, but no, the flu is real, like, and it hits hard. Actually, let me, uh, there we go. It's not, I don't think it's allergies. It only happens when the uh, when the weather changes. So let's keep going through the game. Okay, P5. But the point is he gets the knight to D5, right? Yeah, exactly. That's such a nice square for the knight. Takes, takes, and then now getting over. Exactly, this is a very simple position. I think just like rook c8 is, yeah, bomb. Rook c8, um, and then we don't want to play stuff like knights. Rook c4, maybe rook c2. Yeah, maybe rook c2. Yeah. So this is um 
a good thing to do when you're studying chess is you want to guess the move like what they play and so sometimes what they play is a blunder sometimes you know you both have really good ideas or sometimes their move is just better so you want to know why they made that move and kind of understand why and kind of change your thinking to that um sometimes chess is about what is more important and what takes priority and what opportunities there are oh okay here i think this is very i think maybe Rook a2 looks extremely strong. Okay, so rook c4. Why rook c4 not? Why not rook a2? I like rook a2. The computer agrees with me, rook a2 is really strong. Okay, whatever. Uh, are you trying to threaten something? Are you trying to threaten a5? I, I just, I don't get it. Okay, that one I don't get. Yeah, okay, he played rook a2 anyways. <laughs> Okay, so, and he can't take, or can he take, take with check, so he can't take. Wait, why can't he take? This is just winning. Because the rook, this is check when he takes. Whatever. So, as you can see, he, he missed it. The flu is real, yeah, you know, exactly. Remove in the universe. You don't like spring either? Like life, bro, exactly, exactly. What would have it, what would have if you didn't trade queens with him, but it throw him off? Well, you know what it is? Is that I, I'm looking forward to playing the same way that he does. And I'm just studying his games you know he doesn't pl he doesn't play chess to lose he plays just obviously to win so i'm trying to piggyback off of his his repertoire and kind of have an idea of what i'm doing in the opening um or in this opening at least and I, for right now i think i have a general sense of what to do it basically leads you into an end game and hello i have done a whole bunch of end game um end game things so yeah, and just like thinking wise, we should probably, yeah. I, I think this is gonna be like a line I go into a lot. Yeah, and the rook, you yeah, can't get in. Oh yeah, this is, this is tough. Oof. Yeah, no, this is, this is losing. Just, just trade down everything. Yeah, rook, yeah, this is losing. I would've just took with the rook, honestly. Trade, trade, and we have two pass pawns. Yeah, that's too much. Okay, so let's play another. Let's uh, find another game. So that was a good one. That guy was twenty-two hundred as well. All right, so we're going to one of the ones that he drew. And so I just want to find this and then what I'm going to do so after the C3 Sicilian I what I really want to do is I want to go into the Smith Moore and see what I want to do against that. So for that I might look at Esserman. Esserman has a whole bunch of games in the Smith Moro. But I also want to see how top GMs are handling the Mora. It's okay. How are you doing, TDK? How did your lesson go? You had a lesson on Thursday, right? Or did you have a lesson on Tuesday?
Yeah, so J Mac, we're, we're trying to trade off queens because white structure looks a little bit more advanced than ours. That means it's a little bit easier to attack. So that's the point, right? Um, a lot of times in C3 Sicilian, you're going to push E5 in that chance. Not right now. No, we're, we're studying. We're studying uh, how to play against a C3 Sicilian. So it's a little bit more of a calmer stream. I'm not really going to play so much. Yeah. So let's look at another game. Um, I might be going to the World Open. As you can see here, there's a donation bar. And if that donation bar reaches the end, then we can go to the World Open. So, so far, people have donated $320. Why is it so dark in the bathroom background? Why is it so lighted in your background? Exactly, Mr. Musicality. Why is it so light in your background? That's a real question. Yeah, J Mac. And especially like I I'm gonna be a little bit more comfortable in the in the end game. So let's look at this game. So this guy is a 2300. This game ends in a draw, but we're not really. So we don't really care about the opening. I mean, sorry, we don't really care about the result. We just care about how he plays. And I want to see if he has any different moves. D6 takes take, uh, if, if knight takes an E6. Six, yeah and so what happens here castle so if castles then you play bishop e7 and then knight c3 castles oh knight okay so you're gonna capture on c3 and capture all oh, right because we want to okay but this pawn is very very weak so maybe they're gonna play f4 or bishop f4 either way this bishop is really bad as you can see because he has two pawns on the same color and they're both in the center right so um pretty pretty bad mm. bishop f8 no meat oh okay well g6 is out of the way we have no worries at all this is about equal and it, this is really good when you see the evaluations about equal Means that white has really got no advantage from the opening, and I'm very happy. So let's see, rook c1. Little intermezzi. Ooh, saying I'm gonna take here, but I'm gonna take here too, and I'm gonna take here if you move this anywhere. Ooh, the nuance. Oh, and the reason that he didn't take here was because of checkmate. It's pretty much a draw. I mean, you, know, you should obviously keep trying, but I do want to see where he where he went wrong with his opening. So now we get to go back. How to donate? Yeah. Oh, thank you, thank you. Queen d4 falls to bishop c5. Let's see why didn't he win this game and how I can improve on his failures so we're just gonna piggyback off of him so here knight capture c3 takes takes knight capture c5 d captures c5 queen captures d1 
it says queen captures d1 queen a5 and queen captures d1 are all really really good alternatives where castles is the top move and queen a5 is the second top move um okay so in this in this line i'm gonna play here attacking there and there okay And so he castled. So I remember. I have to remember that just to get to the bishop. I have to get the bishop to a very, very nice diagonal quickly. So what if I play here and he plays like queen g4? Oh, queen capture c3. Hello. But, hmm. Okay. So let's let's say he plays. So he can't play queen g4 because of the takes. And what if he does something crazy? Like, I don't know, like, oh no, he has to play like bishop f4 or something. But then he I block here, right? So he can't even do that. Right, okay, so bishop d7 first. Okay, so bishop d7 first. Then maybe bishop f4. And then bishop c6 is maybe better. And we can play this from here. I like this continuation. And now he has to do protect the pawn and then okay so we can castle queen a4 and queen c5 so i like castles and then i like getting my rook to the center maybe this rook to c8 this rook to d8 we should be okay yeah so the person i'm studying is a gm actually we just played league of legends together not so long ago um really really nice guy we we have a win streak right now so we're on fire <laughs> um but i i would always say is there anything wrong with b5 well we don't want to commit to we don't want to commit to b5 right so like let's say oh let's make a nothing move uh let's make a nothing move like we don't want to commit to this if we play here then Although this is a good move, it doesn't really do anything for our position. Like, what do we want to play? We want to play B4 or something? Then I think, yeah, we, we it doesn't really help our position. Whereas getting our rooks to the center will help our position. Oops, it should be here. Yeah, well, the bishop has a really, really nice diagonal. That it can play on but it's also playing d it's playing a really really vital role in guard safeguarding the king right because if any ever threats of like this we can always play bishop f8 right so yeah you you should always think about improving your pieces but i think the bishop is very well placed on e7 being able to go to one c5 but also you can go to um f8 holding down the king as well yeah okay okay so great so now we learned how to improve that so so let's look over that game one more time So we take, take, and d6. Boom. And if he takes us back with a knight, uh, then we can play e6. And if knight c3, then we, wait, what if knight c3 here? Wait, like, instead of castles, like, what if knight c3 here? Do we, we, do we have the same thing, like, knight capture c3, knight capture c3. Captures, captures, queen captures, king captures, and then bishop d7, bishop c6. And that's so strong. This bishop is going to be a monster. And then we can play this bishop maybe here as well. Oh wow, that bishop is so good. And this counterpart doesn't look so hot. So black is just better here. Please inform me. Okay, okay. Looks beautiful. Okay. Okay, so next, 
let's go to let's go to the, the next game. So that that one was a draw. This guy went from like 2100 to 2400 in two years. This guy's a beast. Hey Channing Tatum. Okay, so let's let's go ahead and uh, post uh, get this other game in here. Takes takes d6. Takes knight c6. So we on this. We take. We always take and then play knight d to b4. Queen takes, then the knight to take. Knight a3, a6, very important. Um, and then here we play bishop g4. Yeah. Knight d4, and then here we play e6. And then knights, knight b to c6. Trading off knights. And then after that, okay, and now we can just play bishop e7. Or, oh no, no, we play rook d8 first, right? Because we want the tempo. Rook d8. And then, yeah, okay, bishop c5, and now the bishop is doing a job. b4. Yeah, exactly. And we go back. Bishop f1, okay. So, what do you play against bishop f1? Maybe. Bishop f5, bishop d3. Yeah. Okay, and then just take, take, king over. Yeah, okay. So he, he's had this position already. So very nice. Okay, so he, we, we've seen this position already occur. You got a good tactic? Okay. This guy is 2400 as well. 